Yo, 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 what's up, man? It's your boy, Jack TV. Well, y'all know I was recently on, um, I know y'all like, why this man in the house right now? Uh, um, look, so, I was recently in Wisconsin deals for vacation, right? And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm eating peanuts right now, and almonds, so, it's probably why I'm, I know I, I haven't been on Periscope or Live in probably about two, three weeks, you know? But anyway, I, I was just on vacation, you know, at um in Wisconsin Dales or whatever the case may be. You know, we was on the strip. We went to Kalahari. We went to Mount Olympus. You know, it was it was pretty, pretty decent. It was dope. Go car riding. If y'all follow me on Snap at Zach TV One, follow me on Snap right now. Then you, you, you I know y'all saw it. Like I was on out there going crazy. Um, people saw me was taking pictures with a lot of people. Um, arm wrestling with kids, going crazy, just enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? But I embarked on this young woman, right? Um, she had to be at least, she probably like between 80 and like 95 years old. All bullshit aside, no foo-foo shit. The lady was between 80 and 95 years old. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and the way we came across each other was kind of weird. Like, I'm in line trying to get some tickets to this like speedboat shit. And she behind me, we just started talking. One thing led to another. We end up sitting sit down in a diner, literally. And it's like Taco Diner or whatever. And just across the street from the candy shop. You know what I'm saying? On the main on the main street wall of the stores there in Wisconsin Dales. If you've been in Wisconsin Dales and you're familiar with it, you know what I'm talking about. So we're sitting in a Mexican diner right on the corner. It's like parallel right across the street from the candy shop. And we talk and I'm like, where are you from? And she like, I'm from South Africa. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty dope. And she's like, where you from? I'm like, I'm from Chicago. You know, my mother um, is black. My father is African, like real African. He's from Zimbabwe, Wat the Bear. And we're just talking. Mind you, whole time, the, the lady is of South African descent, but she's white, like European looking. She's really white, like skin is pale. Like blue eye, blonde hair. She's a white older woman. You know what I'm saying? Walking with a crutch or whatever. And, and, and she was just telling me like, you need to go to Africa. She telling me this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know racist. You know what I'm saying? I don't know racist. Racist is she just like you need to go to Africa. Get for me with your roots, your heritage, yada yada yada. So I'm like, oh yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, a nice young, nice nice woman. You know, I respect my elders. And we just get to talking. And I'm like, how many kids you have, ma'am? She say. She say, I'm sorry about that. She like, I got three kids. I got three kids. Two of them live here in America, and the other kid live with his father. And I'm, um, and no, 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 no. I'm sorry. She said two kids live in, um, in Africa, and the other one live with his father. So I'm like, well, do the other kid live in America? You know, with his father? She's like, no. And I'm like, like, what, what, what where do your other kid live? And the lady say. My other kid live on another planet. So, you know me, I, I be in all this science shit. So, I, I, I like, my antennas got to go up. I'm, damn, they, what you, what you, what you talking about? Like, what you mean? They live on another planet. You know, like your son. She's like, my son lives on another planet with his father. Whole time, I'm looking at, at this lady pupils like, is she high? Is she drunk? The lady is extremely normal for health. She she know right from wrong, wrong from right, right from left, left to right. Like everything is in in contact with. I'm like, nah, she not nuts. So we talk and I'm interested. I'm like, is she pulling my coattail? Is she serious? So we continue to talk. I swear to God, the, the experience was so crazy for me. I literally took notes. I took notes. Everything that the lady said in Wisconsin, I took notes. It's crazy. I'm talking about if I'm lying, I'm flying. Yo, listen. The lady name, cause I like man, what's your name? Her name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, 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 like Keeler, Keeler, something like that. You know what I'm saying? I tried to find her on Facebook. I couldn't find her. I tried to look her up on, on like, like Google Plus. I couldn't find her. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't, I didn't get her phone number to stay in contact with her. But let me tell you some of the stuff that the lady was telling me. She was talking about um, that the, 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 the UFOs been following her since she since she was a kid i know y'all like this nigga tweaking he had she said they've been following her in south africa her and her sister since she was a kid and there was um a you a, a spaceship literally about 60 feet in diameter like huge and then it was a mothership as well 
And she said that um, she fell in love with one of these extraterrestrials, these intelligent beings, and he took her to his planet. So I'm looking like, what the f like this shit can creepy. Let me let me show you something. And so I asked the lady, what planet are you from? You from Mars? You from Jupiter? You from Uranus? You from what, Pluto? The Z planet? Nibiru? Like, where he from? The lady said a planet I never, ever heard of. She said he from a star system. It's another star system that's close to our sun. So I'm looking like, is she serious? So I'm, you know, I'm really, really intelligent. So when she say, when she say, um, when she said some of this shit, like, I'm like, which star system? And she said, and I'm reading my notes, I ain't gonna lie, because I took notes. The lady said he was from, um, what is shit is that? Um, Alpha Centauri. That's a real star system. You're like, y'all could Google that shit right now. Alpha Centauri, it's a real star system. They got like dwarf, dwarf suns or whatever. It's like two or three of them. They all similar. Um, but she say in, in Alpha Centauri, it's several planets. It's actually, um, it's actually seven planets, right? And he from one of those planets, and the name of his planet is called Meton. M E T O N. Meton. And I said, what? Like, and I, I'm really, really confused. And I'm like, yo, how long? I ask every question in the world. Yo, ma'am, how long did it take you to get there? She say, from us to go to, um, what's the name of it again? Alpha Centauri is going to take four light years. So my next question, I say light years. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very intelligent. I know a light year is basically time it's basically uh, like light uh multiplied by by time uh light years it's basically like the distance light travels in one year so imagine that light just going straight for an entire year 365 days so it it it'll take four light years that's a long ass time but she said he did something like where um they cloaked up in the sky it was just some crazy phenomenal this is probably the best conversation i have ever had in my life i know a lot of y'all out here is dumb so i know y'all probably can't even 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 relate to it and and she was just saying we was traveling at cosmic speed that's crazy you know what she said they was going through different wormholes different loopholes different galaxies a old african lady man she 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 white and skin but she from south africa um and i was asking her um like how do these spaceships travel like do they use gas what is it she says it's called electro um electrogravity that's what they use electrogravity you know what i'm saying and they get their energy from the sun and she's and she was just saying on, on a planet on me time they don't believe in roads and and trains and tracks and cigarette smoke and weed none of the above um they, they keep their uh their habitat clean of pollution that's how these um, future humans, she called them, live longer. And I was asking her, like, so what do they eat? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm interested. What do what do these future humans eat? And she said they eat to leap. And mind you, she between 80 and 95. I ain't asked her age, but she's really, really old. And and just to let you know how old she is, she said this uh, um, um, uh, situation occurred back in, like, between 1955 and 1964, something like that, in South Africa. She said that they live off, like, fruits, and vegetables um i went out and got me some almonds you understand what i'm saying everything she was saying i was listening to she said fruits vegetables um almonds peanuts things of that nature um and 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 they stay away from tons of negativity she say negativity equals stress and stress is how a lot of humans on earth you and i how we die quicker you know and, and, you know, by drinking Kool-Aid and pop and beer and whiskey and, 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 and hitting the hookah and smoking weed. And, you know what I'm saying? She say we infest these drugs inside of our body. And every time we inhale a substance that's not good for our, um, our, 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 our body, we take my bed, y'all. My brother just got out. Just built my little brother out. Um, so welcome home. He just got out. But anyway, um. Uh, the fuck she was saying like by us and um uh, uh by us and having these substances it ruined our bodies and that's every time we do like we rocks blows cocaine whatever just to get that high we take years off of our life you know what i'm saying our life expectancy then she said that this, this civilization 
um, in, in, what, what, what's their name? The Archons. They call themselves the Archons. She say the Archons are liter literally mo millions, millions, millions of light years ahead of, uh, ahead of us as far as technology is concerned, as far as like um, their health is concerned, their wealth is concerned. She say no one on the planet of me time gets ill. No one gets ill. She said, um, the weather over there is incredible, incredible. You know, the archons on their planet, on Metown, they control their own weather. You know how we said that the government has heart. We we have a weapon. The government has a weapon called heart that they control. Um, they control the weather that um, occurs in America. Like, you know, like Baton Rouge, just a big flood in Baton Rouge. I'm surprised I'm not seeing that broadcasted all over the news, CNN, um, WGN, ABC, CBS, NBC. I'm not seeing it. You understand what I'm saying? But she said the government, you know, what the government in, in America has a weapon called HARP, but over there on me time, they, they control their own um, what weapon. She said she fell in love with, with, with the Archon, man. He was really tall, like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, you know, she said he had gr like grayish eyes, but he was a humanoid. When I say a humanoid, which means he looks um, like you and I. You understand what I'm saying? She just said they were extremely tall and extremely intelligent. You know, on Earth we use what is it between seven and thirteen percent of our brain. Well, on 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 the planet Metan, they use well, what is it like seventy to eighty nine percent of their brain. Like re just ridiculous. She said of seven planets, um, uh, in their star system. Uh, oh yeah, she said a crazy thing when she was on the. Starship, that's why they call it. You know, we call them spaceships, UFOs. She said when it, she was on the Starship, they had like a weird, like, crystal ball. You know how they be like psychics looking through the crystal ball? She said they had a crystal ball about four feet high. And if you could see it, if, if you can look, and she said they can look in a ball and they can see what every human on planet Earth is doing. She said they, they, they can monitor certain humans through television, through cell phone, and through their computer, basically through technology. Uh, she said back on on a planet me time they didn't believe in curtains they didn't believe in walls every house was a glass house um they didn't they didn't believe in captivity they didn't believe in holding secrets um it wasn't no violence whatsoever um it was just I, I'm trying to lead from saying heaven you know what I'm saying but she said oh and they didn't believe in how you know how we believe in God they believed that the sky is 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 God everyone is God you and I is God you know how in America we have different religions, you know. Um, in America, to be honest, religions separate us a lot. You know, re religion create war, and religion separate us. You know, instead of us just saying we are gods, and well, that is a high being. Um, you, we got the Jehovah's Witnesses, we got the Christians, we got the Buddhists, we have, um, um, we have Muslims who believe in Allah. You know, um, I'm a Christian myself. I believe in God definitely. Um, but she just said that their high being was just the sky themselves it, it was crazy she did it, it, it was man i wish i could have just put on live for some strange reason my phone wasn't working when i was uh, in cahoots with this woman she said oh yeah and 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 and, and the people of um Meton, they wasn't born on the planet Meton. they were originally originally from planet venus you know how they was like men from mars women from venus she said everyone was from venus but venus eventually exploding everyone had to relocate to me time remember everything that i'm saying is, is a fact like you can go right now and google the alpha Centauri star system and it's literally 4.22 light years ahead of us like we can get that you know what I'm saying we can travel to mars we can get that it's you know it's it's it's, it's similar it's, it's similar to earth uh, what else? She was saying a lot of shit. Whatever she was saying. Uh, they even moved from Vegas years ago. Still doing the solar. Venus exploded during the solar expansion. The solar, you know, out, out in the um, uh, the solar system expanded. That's how they keep finding out. Um, there's new planets. A planet here, a planet there, a planet there. She said that um, by these guys, um, on planet Metan, ain't fruits and vegetables. It expanded their lifespan. You know, they have infinity, infinite life. Like, they never die. They never die on planet Metan. You know, I don't know about other planets and other life forms, but I know, you know what I'm saying, on planet Metan, they never die. They have inf infinite life. Who knows to say that 
uh, the archon who uh, impregnated Miss Elizabeth gave her some type of source because she's in the 90s and she's still living. She's walking, she's talking. You could tell she's up in age, but she's still living, you know. How many people you know on planet Earth that passed the, the age of, let's say, 60? You know what I'm saying? And still walking and talking and having ha and, and living life. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else you saying? Um, the crystal ball. And it's crazy when she said that they were viewing every American from the crystal ball. You know, the government supposed to have something called the looking glass that they... Uh, Recovered from the Roswell incident in New Mexico, 19 like I think that's shit. It was 1955 or something like that in New Mexico. Um, it's called the Looking gla Looking Glass. Basically, you can look in it and you can see the future, but you can't see the past. It's crazy that she was saying all this because I'm like, man, this go it coincide with what I already learned and knew since a shorty what's been going on in the world. Um, she's there was their planet surrounded by two suns. Uh, South Africa, they had a hybrid kid. Um, uh, it's just so much, man. Uh, oh, I was asking how, how do, what that, so go on, challenge that. I was, I'm, I'm going to do the so go on later on, bro. Definitely. I was asking how, um, do the, um, like spaceships, how do they, like, how do they operate? Like, and she said anti- they're reverse, in, well, the government's trying to reverse engineer, but she said that they move on, I said electrogravity, but she said antimatter. You know, uh, antimatter is basically the opposite of matter, and matter has no weight whatsoever. But the crazy thing with scientists and, um, uh, like, sociologists and um, physicists, they're trying to, like, find out if antimatter have and have no weight whatsoever and it's basically the opposite of matter how is it equal it was just so 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 many questions that this lady just it, it was man i'm not saying everything is because i'm overwhelmed you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just trying to tell y'all everything it's just crazy man crazy it's probably the best conversation i ever ever occurred but if y'all think i'm lying man go google you know what i'm saying alpha centauri you know uh, I, i'm familiar with planet nibiru i'm familiar with um, the Z planet, the black planet that was behind Pluto when Pluto exploded. I'm familiar with a lot of things, but she she really got my mind racing. And she kept saying, longevity to life expansion is basically to not be stressed, to stop being stressed, to stop thinking about a lot of things that, that is basically out of your hands. Um, I don't know. Like today for breakfast, ever since I, I ran into this lady like, I've been eating a lot of cashews, walnuts, peanuts. Like I say, I got my almonds right here. I got a, I bought a went to Walmart, bought three gallons of water. Um, um, I, you know, I'm staying away from fried foods. You know, it's not really a diet. It's about living longer. Like really, health, wealth, and happiness. You know, um, I'm just trying to think. Damn, man, she, she she was just saying a whole bunch of shit. I'm just trying to like it was so much. Y'all y'all don't know. I was like I was consuming basically 30 40 years of knowledge within 45 minutes to an hour literally so my, my man is on, on on another planet um oh what else we talked about we talked about um computers she said that 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 they have a computer but their computer is basically from one membrane cell to another crazy crazy uh well they don't have cars they don't believe in cars they have ships not ships that go on the water, but they got real spaceships, you know, that that travel at um, the speed of light, you know. Just say, oh, sh I got to go to the grocery store. You'll be there in half of a second. Um, oh, what does she say? She say traveling, if, if you know, we traveling light years. Um, shit, what we say? It, it's a crazy math equation to get there. Like, it's the light traveled... Light multiplied by 365 times 10 to the 14th power. It's a it's a craziest equation she tried to write down and, and explain to me. It was just mind puzzling. Um, but y'all do know it's a planet in another um, star system. Um, now this one I can tell you a lot about. It's called the Proxima Centauri. So it's close. It's it's about it's 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 close from um it's close to our sun once again. But it's past Pluto, it's past, it's past planet Nibiru, 
you know, I was talking about Planet Serpo before. Now, we all know about Planet Serpo. Twelve scientists um, uh, was held liter literally in prison because they wanted to keep, the government wanted to keep this, now this is some American shit, the government wanted to keep this top-notch secret. Uh-uh, we only, it's classified information. So they held 12 scientists in um, Los Alamos, a prison. It's, it's a U.S. Um, Air Force prison. They held them in Los Alamos for literally two and a half years, getting them prepared to travel to this other planet. They went to Planet Serpo. It's 12 scientists that went to Planet Serpo. They spent 10 years on this planet. Uh, three of the years, they were like um, literally walking on a planet and, 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 and discovering soil, grass, and just finding out how these future humans live in everyday life, you know, doing research on them. But they was doing research on um, human DNA as well. You know, and on Planet Serpo, they were taking human DNA, um, This not the Americans, but the, the extraterrestrials, the intelligent beings. They were taking human DNA and um, creating um, other life forms with it, and when I say other life forms, I mean like humanoids, reptilians, just create, like mixing it with their with their DNA, just seeing what what's what it would look like, how it become, you know. And it's different types of extraterrestrials, different type of aliens. Like y'all motherfuckers, like y'all see an alien, y'all be like, oh shit, he's skinny, he like four feet two, he bald head and he got wide ass. Like that's that's it, you know. It's different types of aliens. You got. Those kinds, you got the reptilians, you got humanoids that look like you and I, that's on planet um, Meton. You got the ones that's on planet Nibiru, planet X, Mars, as well as um, Serpo. That's the aliens, the small creatures, the wide eyes, the we come in peace. Like, you got those, you got some that look like the one, the, like the blue creatures off Avatar. You know what I'm saying? It's, you got the tall grays, you got the, you like, it's, it's different types of creatures, different types of, um, what the fuck? Not humans, but different types of form of, of extraterrestrials. Um, man, this shit go gets so deep, man. Um, but as far as the twelve scientists that traveled to um, planet Serpo, only seven came back. Two died on the way to Serpo. Um, one died on the planet from radiation. So once that one scientist died on a planet. They were forced to live underground, underground bunkers on Planet Circle. Like the average day on Planet Circle was, uh, I think it was like at least 115, 123 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was, it was just excruciating. It was just extremely hot. Um, but, but seven of the 12 scientists returned. Uh, three stayed and lived there. One died on the planet. One died on the way to the planet. But I know seven returned. And like I said. Of the several that that returned, like they had to learn how to walk again. A few of them had um had had aged dramatically. You know, you got to think. It took them nine months to travel to Planet Circle. Literally nine months, and they were in a um um they were in a spacecraft because because uh the American um the U.S. government Air Force. They they uh did it's it's called I know y'all probably heard of Project Blue Bean, Project Blue Book, but this was a secret government project called Project Red Book. It was a secret exchange program between the um intelligent beings and the US government. So in change for the, the, the aliens wanted uh human DNA in exchange for their technology. So, you know, our government did, okay, y'all y'all gonna help us re Reverse engineer y'all spacecrafts. We want to learn how to get these UFOs and go to war with Russia, China, etc., etc. But we're gonna get y'all human DNA. You know what I'm saying? So the government so fucked up they gave them human DNA. Do what y'all want with these people. You know what I'm saying? They we got their social security number. Y'all do what y'all want. Just help us. So Planet Serpo sent down um two spaceships from their um their motherboard spaceship, like the big, big, big spaceship. They sent two small ones down. One to put the 12 scientists on and the other one with their beings to help the scientists um, reverse engineer their, their U.S. their spacecraft, you know. So like I said before, when y'all be seeing a lot of these like UFO science and shit like that, I know we don't see it in the bigger cities like Chicago, New York, Philly, Detroit, etc. Because we got skyscrapers and the skyscrapers kind of, you know, it take your attention off what looking up in the sky. But when you're in a country, when you're in somewhere like the desert, Arizona, Nevada, you know, shit like that. California or whatever, you get to see, you get the time to chill and just look in the sky. You're like, wow, is that a, is that a star? Is that an asteroid? 
Is that a meteor? What is that? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of time, what's the name of the documentary you've seen on YouTube? Yo, but a lot of time you, you, you um, a lot of time we see that shit, it'd be the U.S. government, like 95% it'd be, it'd be real spaceships, but it'd be the U.S. government that's controlling these spaceships that's behind it, you know? And the, five, the other 5%, it'd be, you know, extraterrestrials, you know? But like I'm saying, I'm just saying this, like, this lady just blew my mind, you know what I'm saying, in the deal. It's just crazy. You know, I'm I'm still trying to find, all I know, I'm Elizabeth Clara, Clara, but she she was an incredible woman. Just crazy to meet a human who actually visited another planet. I don't think it was a joke. I believed everything that she said. I was in awe. It was the most incredible conversation I have ever encountered a day in my life. Um... Everything she said that I'm taking, I'm, 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 I'm just using in everyday life. Like I'm gonna continue to eat almonds, peanuts, drink tons of water, um, put God first. Um, I don't smoke, I don't drink. I'm gonna just stay on that right, that right path, stay righteous. I know a lot of you guys out there may not believe what I'm saying. You, you may be like, yo, this nigga bugging, he drunk, he high, whatever. But she said that. She said a lot of people didn't believe her. A lot of people and she said the people that d didn't believe her it wasn't for them to understand like sometimes you got to open your, your your third eye your pineal gland and expand you know we, we we're better than that and eventually and I asked her I say one day will we be able to um one day will we be able as a race to travel to another planet as a whole without the government keeping everything top-notch secret she said yes but not in our lifetimes, you know, not in our lifetimes, you know, so, um, and eventually she said that the sun is getting, what the fuck, hold on, she said, because I, I wrote this down to it, she said the sun, the sun is just going, is, is going to continue to get hotter and expand and, ev and eventually it's going to get to that point where it explodes and once it explodes, that's, it could be over for earth and she said the government knows that, that's why They've been traveling back and forth to these different star systems and different planets to try to um, uh, get that, what you call it, not world peace, but, you know, in Antarctica, when all the governments and all the presidents go to Antarctica and they have that meet twice a year, you know, it's it's like a meet of the worlds, literally. So it's it's an exchange program. Like, we're going to come over here if this happens. It, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's not crazy, but it's just crazy. That all this is going on. That's why I said. Is the truth. Stranger than fiction. You know. This is the shit that we used to watch on as Jetsons. You know. Like I never thought in a million years. I could talk to my homie through FaceTime. Like I always thought about thought about it. Like watching the Jetsons. Like damn. What if they create a phone. They want the band. Like if she was talking about that. Like these inventions. Been around. Y'all gotta always remember this. The U.S. Air Force, I'll never get my, shout out to my man Kirk, he was in the Air Force. He was telling me, the U.S. Air Force technology is always 40 plus years ahead of what we know. So if we know, we just not found out about the, um, the iPhone 5 or 10 years ago, they got some shit crazy. My nigga, probably a piece of candy that could be a phone. Like my man, not my man, but this guy was working out at a gym with, um, like six, seven months ago, he was telling me like how his father was in the, um, U.S. Air Force, the man said that he went, they had a fucking, like, a, a, literally a newspaper that you can re-roll up and then you can roll, un, unravel it and place it on the wall and it becomes a television. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, nah, my, my, my dad wasn't a liar. My dad told me this. And there was a lot of secrets and um, things that my dad couldn't tell me that he took to his grave. But I remember him telling me that. I remember him telling me um, how they was... Uh, what do you say? How they held aliens hostage for numerous um, amount of years? Um, it's man, it's, 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 it, this is a crazy world we live in. Um, very, this is, um, it's, it's a crazy world we live in, man. Um, yeah, everybody talk about kill like so go on challenge. I'm gonna do that, y'all. I got y'all, but it's just a crazy world we live in, man. Y'all gotta educate yourself. Y'all definitely gotta get out here um, and, and, and research Earth. You know what I'm saying? Research, research a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I tell y'all day in and day out. The world is bigger than your block. The world is bigger than Chicago. The world is bigger than America. It's oh, yo, yo, it's people that never left this city, let alone this country, let alone this planet. You know what I'm saying? Always remember this too, and this is a fact. 
I never forget, I was like 15, 14, 15. Justin Timberlake, because I always say this is my goal, like, Justin Timberlake for his mother, like, I don't know what, what age she was, but I know it was, it was on MTV News, they showed, like, a glimpse. His, it was her, his mother's birthday, and for her birthday, he paid a, $1 million to NASA to have his mother fly out of space. Crazy. But she signed, she had to sign all types of papers to, to like, like, like disclosures forms and shit like that, like that she wouldn't say what she's seen and what her experience was like. And I'm like, I always wondered how, why wouldn't they want this woman to speak about what occurred out of space? And another thing that that kind of that always punctuates my mind, I've been thinking about, you know, y'all know I'm a very intelligent brother. I do a lot of research before I start talking, you know. Um, it's another brother, not a brother, but it's, it's this guy. His name is Neil Armstrong. They say that he was the first man to land on the moon. You know his favorite quote, uh, once one leap for man, one huge step for mankind, or whatever the case may be. But I always wonder why this man never did any interviews on talk shows, radios, news coverage, etc. when you're supposed to land it on the moon. You, you understand what I'm saying? I personally don't think um, America... Our U.S. government landed on the moon. I think everything was a host. It was a host. It was it was it, it, it was filmed in a studio in California, in Hollywood. You know, um, I don't understand how in our social studies books they got the the American flag swiveling, swirling like you know it's no wind whatsoever out in our in the solar system out of space. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's just, it, it's just weird. But I do feel right now. That I, I I know for a fact that they're that, that aliens, extraterrestrial, intelligent beings, the Evans, they've been here. The government knew about it. They just don't want to tell us because they don't know how humans as a race will react. So they put it out here in small subliminal messages. And when I say small subliminal messages, I mean in TV shows, definitely movies, World of the Worlds, 2012, End of the World. You, you understand what I'm saying? And see if we catch it. See if we catch it. See how we react. See how many people are actually interested in this. Okay, we're going to put this in the movie theaters and see how many tickets we sell. If we sell 1. Million or 1. Billion, then we know that people are on the line or on the border of accepting a new world order. You understand what I'm saying? It's a lot you got to think about. You know what I'm saying? Um, just think, why are we banned from an article? You know, why we can't go to Antarctica. It's, it's a lot of things I think about. Sometimes I really want to ask myself, is the earth, is is the earth actually flat? Is it a flat earth? We don't know. We've never been out of space, so we wouldn't know for a fact is it a, if it's circular, if it's a sphere shape, or if it's a square shape. We don't know. We, 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 we don't know. We don't know what's at the bottom of those Atlantic oceans, Pacific oceans, the Red Sea. You know, they say light can travel light never stops traveling right light can barely touch the mid point of the atlantic ocean and that's crazy man what the y'all ever heard about the lost sea of atlantis like all this shit be 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 be, be just fucking my head up sometimes like really i just sit back and i read i read a lot i read a lot like i say the, the best book i ever read was called behold a pale horse um by William H. Cooper. Definitely check it out. I, I literally went to Barnes and Nobles two and a half years ago and purchased that myself and read that book from back to front, front to back. Read it again. Like every time I read it, I discover something new. Behold the Pale Horse by William H. Cooper. Once again. Um but it's just it's it's mind blowing, you know? It's mind blowing. It's it's mind blowing what is going on out here, man. It's, it's, it's mind blowing, you know. And I know I'm not the only one to think about this. I know it's a lot of people probably think about this when they're high, intoxicated, or or or, or by themselves. You know what I'm saying? You got to think when we look at the sky. What are we actually looking at? Are those are, are those stars UFOs imposed as as stars? Are those stars other planets? Who knows? Are those stars people? Who knows, man? We just gotta expand. Uh, um, our mind frame, you know, to the next level. Oh, um, but I don't want to bore y'all. I know it's only a few watching this, or whatever the case may be. But I just wanted to, to speak on that. You know, this this experience occurred this weekend once again. 
and Wisconsin deals with the lady Elizabeth, Elizabeth Clara, Clara or Clara or something like that. I wrote her name down. A white one from South Africa. She had a hybrid kid by an alien, advanced human from Alpha Centauri. Her name was Archon. His people was the Archons. They fell in love. He fell in love with a human. He was from a planet called Meton, surrounded by two different suns. And there was a total of seven planets within its solar system. The lady, she wasn't no regular lady. She went to college for um, meteorology. Meteorology. She was a college graduate. She joined the Air Force after college. Shortly after college, she had a, a husband. Before she fell in love with the um, extraterrestrial, she had a husband. Her first husband. He was a test pilot. Um, it, 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 it's just crazy, man. They four light years away, man. It's crazy, man. Definitely want you guys to follow me on um, all my social sites. Instagram is ZachTV1. Twitter, the real ZachTV1. Y'all know my first Twitter page was hacked. Um, follow me on Facebook, ZachTV1. Definitely follow me on Snapchat at ZachTV1. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel at ZachTV1 right now. Um, any questions or concerns, feel free if you had any experiences like this. If you ever saw anything in, in a skies, whether it's daytime, nighttime, whatever the case may be, definitely email me at ZachTV1 at YMail.com. Not Gmail, people. It's YMail.com. Z-A-C-K-T-V, the number one, at YMail.com. And I want y'all to just keep your eyes in the skies and, and keep your, your cameras rolling, your, you know, your data clear. You may never know what you may recover from the skies. You know what I'm saying? Um, stay blessed. Read. Open your, your, your third eye. And always remember, I said it first, man. Is the truth stranger than fiction? Y'all got to listen to me again. Is the, is the truth, what's going on in the world, is it stranger than fiction than all the movies and the cartoons? You know, they say art imitates reality. So is the truth stranger than fiction, man? What's real and what's not? Something to think about, right? I gotta get ready, man. My brother just came home today. We just built him out. You know what I'm saying? Just built my brother out, man. So ain't no more um, free savage no more. He home. Free Joe. Free Rome. Free the gas. Just built him out, man. I love y'all. It's ATV for life, man. Definitely subscribe, man. Follow me on every social site, you know? All right, man. I love y'all.